Mr. Speaker, this morning I wish to provide the Honorable House with a report of the activities of the Customs Department for the first and second quarters of 2018. The department now is officially re relocated to Customs House at 139 Front Street, Hamilton, where they will occupy the first and second floors. The relocation has already provided benefits as the proximity of operational units has reduced the timing and transmittal sensitive to timing and transmittal of sensitive documents. The department continues to perform border protection functions, which include the collection of revenue and the interdiction of drugs and other contraband inclusive of unaccustomed, uncustomed goods. Mr. Speaker, the Customs Department began the year with a celebration of International Customs Day on January 26. This year, the theme was Digital Customs Progressive Engagement. A number of events took place through the week. Officers and staff members attended church services at the St. Paul's AME, African Methodist, Methodist Episcopal Church. And on Tuesday, January 26, the open, an open house was held at number six cruise ship passenger terminal dock on Front Street, which included a series of displays, demonstrations, giving the public the opportunity to interact with customs officers. The department also hosted the Random Act of Kindness Day. This included with a week of staff celebration, recognizing members and staff for long service and outstanding work performance. Mr. Speaker, in March 2018, the department advertised for 10 trainee customs officers. Mr. Speaker, there were 487 applicants. The skills, the standard fitness, the drug testings, all were performed, and in April and May, there is a currently a short list of candidates being interviewed by the recruitment per personnel, and they will be psychometric tests prior to the final selection and offering contract contracts to the applicants. Yes, Mr. Speaker, 487 applications for 10 positions. Mr. Speaker, the Bermuda Customs Express Package clearing process becomes highly recommended, and by various international courier companies, and as a result, the Cayman's Customs recently visited Bermuda to conduct an on-site visit of our courier facilities. The Cayman representatives wanted to adopt the electronic submission process for their courier operations and turn to Bermuda, who indeed are a leader in their field, for guidance, support, and to see how we do things locally. Mr. Speaker, during the first half of this year, training has been an integral part of the department's operation. An advanced post-clearance Audit risk management training was conducted by Mr. Stephen Mendez, Administration Officer for the Caribbean Technical Assistance Center, based in Barbados, and Mr. Jerry Bonins, who hails from the United Kingdom. They were here to select a group of managers and customs officers. These gentlemen delivered an introduction to risk management in October and started the process of the Bermuda Customs developing a risk-based system for importers, for importers and trusted trader program. This training will move that certain customs functions to a excuse me, this training will move certain customs function, functions to a solid risk-based analysis for importers of goods. Mr. Speaker, the customs department continues to forge a solid relationship with CARTAC and has benefited from sponsored overseas training for customs officers. This training has been extended to include a week-long training course in the Dominican Republic at the CCLEC Training Center. Mr. Speaker, the interdiction, of, the interdiction arm of the Bermuda Department of Customs continues as officers are faced with both drug and illegal contraband smuggling. During the first and second quarter, the department was successful in interceptions at all por ports of entry. Of particular note, Mr. Speaker, the recent start of the cruise ship season has already seen an increased number of passages in possession of illicit drugs in various forms being intercepted at the port arrival. The excellent working relationship between the ship's security department and the Bermuda Cruise Ship Enforcement Teams, or CSAT, has, pro has produced positive results. The department continues to be heavily involved in the Anti-National Money Laundering Committee, or NAMLAC, Mr. Speaker. Bermuda is scheduled to be assessed in the oncoming months, and the department has formed a team of senior managers, which includes the leading, which includes leading the process. Anti-money laundering training will be introduced to all customs officers over the next few months. 
Mr. Speaker, in May 1, 2018, the Department announced promotions of at the senior management level. Senior Customs Officer Ahmed Troy Keynes was promoted to the rank of Principal Customs Officer, and Principal Officer Principal Customs Officer Charmette Depond was promoted to, to the position of Assistant Collector of Customs. Both PCO Keynes and ACOC have over 30 years' experience in the department and have been promoted to operational areas within the investigative training enforcement and administrative units. I wish to congratulate them on their promotions and look forward to good service that they will continue to offer the people of Bermuda. Mr. Mr. Speaker, we look forward to the remainder of the year and the Customs Department will look forward to the World Customs Organization Day, Foundation for Training of New Customs Officers, attending the World Customs Organization Conference, the Fusion and Drone Surveillance Unit, the additional joint serving with other units, the LAMLAC assessment and training. Mr. Speaker, I have every confidence that the Collector of Customs, the Collector of Customs and her team will meet all of the objectives that we just mentioned. The Ministry of National Security remains committed to supporting the work of the Bermuda Customs Department. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.